This is Eugene Panrichrich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo ThinkPad Edge E520 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an E520 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. To remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, slide the lever on the left, and slide the battery out. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, and once we uh, put the computer back, in order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove four screws that are holding the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And they're behind, hiding behind some rubber pads, which we need to remove first. Before we start that, I'm going to go over the tools that we're going to need for this job. Uh, the tool that we're going to use the most is a uh, electronic screwdriver, a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. In addition, we have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver, and that's for smaller screws. And we have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and that's to reach screws that are an angle and to pry things open and to reach for things that's useful for that sometimes. Also, we have an exacto knife, exacto blade, or a hobby knife with a pointed blade, and this is used to remove the rubber uh, screw covers and for some other things. And finally, we have we have a pair of sharp metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws that may be stuck. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is use the exacto knife to remove the rubber screw covers to expose the screws. And what I like to do is put them right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them after I remove them. We go one by one, all four of them. Three, all right, that's two, three, and four. Once we do that, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws that are holding the screen bezel. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to put them in a separate pile and I keep the piles in the order in which I remove the screws. So when putting the laptop back together, I know which screws go where. Okay, so there's three. and four screws. Trying to learn how to do this with my left hand so we can get a better camera angle. Okay, once we remove the four screws, we're going to snap the screen bezel off. And what I, the way I do it is I put my fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up the plastic up and outward and if I hear snapping sounds that's a good sign that means the screen is snapping off and I go around the whole screen assembly if I get stuck at a point that's no big deal I just come back to it later when I snap off some other parts and uh, take your time on this this sometimes can take a while depending on how tightly the bezel is on Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, but just go around and snap it off, like so. Keep moving along, and finally the screen bezel is off. And I'm going to put the screen bezel to the side. For this type of screen, for this type of screen, uh, it's mounted on the sides with uh, screws on the sides to the metal mounting brackets. So in order to get to the screws, we have to have access to the side of the screen here. And for this one, it's pretty easy. There's only two screws, and we can get to them with the screwdriver 
pretty easily. Sometimes with other laptops, you have to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit or even loosen the screws at the bottom to get to it, but not for this laptop, so we can get to them pretty easily. Okay, and then the next thing that we want to do is remove the screws that are holding the screen to the middle mounting brackets on the screen assembly. And I'm just trying out to see which screwdriver works. And that PH1 screwdriver works. So we're going to use that screwdriver and gently remove the screws and put them up and start a separate pile. And when you're doing this, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so that when you remove the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. I lost the screw there, so I'm going to pick it up later from the floor. But just be careful with those, and don't be like me. Don't lose your screws. Okay, so that's three screws. And finally, the fourth screw. Okay. So next, once all the four screws are removed, we gently start tilting the screen forward, like so. And now the screen assembly is done. So with this type of screen, we have uh, one connector. It's an LED connector, and it's secured by some tape. So in order to remove the screen, we just have to remove this one connector. Like so, and we start removing it. We lift up the adhesive tape that's holding the connector. I'll get a close up, like so. And oftentimes there's adhesive on the back of the tape of the video cable. We lift up that adhesive so we can remove the connector. And this one's a little bit more stubborn. There's more adhesive on the back near the connection. And once we remove all the adhesive, we gently slide the connector back and the screen is released. Okay, so let's take a look at this screen. This is a standard 15.6 inch LED screen and as of mid 2012 it's the most common type of screen that's available for laptops. So you should not have any trouble finding the screen that will work for this laptop. Okay now having said that this particular screen is a bit unusual in that it has a matte finish, not a glossy finish. Uh, most of the screens that you will see will have a glossy finish. And the part number is also a bit unusual. The part number that we want to look at is LTN156AT24. This is a part number that's custom to Lenovo, but a standard 15.6 inch LED screen will work on this. So most likely if you order a screen with that part number, you'll get a standard 15.6 inch LED screen with a different part number. And also, unless you specifically state that you want a matte screen, you'll most likely get a glossy screen. Okay, so you can also buy this screen from us. If you do buy it from us, you will get a glossy screen and your part number will be different, like I said. And what you get with us is um, the toolkit that you need, the exact same toolkit that I'm using here. It'll come for free with the screen. We have a two-year warranty on the screen. We have a compatibility guarantee that if the screens we ship is not compatible, we'll send you the right one. And no extra charge and we ship from four warehouses across the country so you'll get your screen fast and we ship from Los Angeles, Tucson, Chicago and Philadelphia and finally if you're outside the United States we can ship to most countries so go to the shopping cart and order as usual so uh, to buy the screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com and on the page you get there, you'll see a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and the email address. Just 
send us that information and we'll email you back with the link to buy the right screen online. Okay, uh, once you do get your screen in, you put it in as, sh as I'll show you. For the connector, sometimes this connector can be a little bit tricky. So when you slide it back in, you'll feel but won't hear two clicks when it's in. And let's get a close-up look what a properly connected screen should look like. Okay, this is a good close-up. Pause the video right there, and there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush like so. This is a good connection. Okay, so once you do that, you put the new screen back up and put the two screws in on each side on the metal mounting brackets. Then you snap the screen bezel back on. And then you put the four screws in up front and the screw covers, and you should be done. And uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.